This week we win an USP Neon Noir in field tested condition. To enter, like every week, like, comment, and subscribe, and click to the posting on my Discord server linked below. Thanks! Keeping your account safe is not only important because of the value of your Counter-Strike skins. As Steam is getting more and more secure because of improved security mechanics by Valve, which also likes to falsely ban innocent people three times. What the hell? Oh my god, no way! Scammers and hackers tend to use new and different tactics than before. For example, really popular at the moment is social engineering. You might have gotten a message from somebody in your friend list like this. Gift for you! So it is more important than ever to be careful and inform yourself on how to keep your account safe. And this is not a video about how to not get scammed, I made a video about it already. This is how you can actively secure your account, not just know which scams are out there. So we start with the most basic and obvious things you can do to secure your account, but we go way further into really good tips that even I did not know when I researched for this video. So listen up folks, after this message of my sponsor. This video is sponsored by SkinsMonkey.com. SkinsMonkey is an automated CSGO bot trading site. They offer a huge amount of skins to instantly trade to, 24-7 live chat support and a 35% bonus on every cash deposit. With our referral code NEON you can get a free up to $5 bonus on your first trade when exchanging items worth at least $100. So like you can see here I've calculated a little bit and found this cool deal on SkinsMonkey. My $5 bonus, I just selected these five items out of my inventory for these two gut knife safari matches field tested. I even got some leftover balance on the side, which I can use for my next trade. The two gut knives were on trade logs, so I just saved them onto the side. But some days later, I could just withdraw them to my Steam. And as you can see here, I've got a really good upgrade and with my bonus code, also a really good deal. So check out Skins Monkey right now. Link to the side with my bonus code is in the description. Number one, use your brain and be careful. The most obvious one I know, but also the most important one. Nothing in the world can prevent and secure your account that much than yourself and just using your common sense. So inform yourself about popular scams, I have a video on that too, but more importantly, no random guy will just send you something for free or will just overpay 20%. And it is also extremely unlikely that people randomly add you without bad intent. Let's be honest, if a real person wants to trade for the knife that you have, they will most likely go to a marketplace, trader or trading platform to get a similar one. Same with creative ideas like, I want to play in tournament with you or please vote for my team on xxnotscam.com. So, Use your brain and you will most likely prevent 90% of scams. Use your brain! The thing in your head, use it! Number two, use mobile authenticator and other two-factor authentications. Two-factor authentication is one of the most secure systems we have nowadays. It is not perfect, more on that later, but hackers really need to trick you or your two-factor device to really get access to your account. That's why it is very important to protect your Steam account with Steam Guard and also all connected accounts, like your email for example, with it. I for example have both two-factor authentication and biometric protection, so if somebody wants to hack me or even just steals my phone, they would still need my finger to really get into my account. You can easily also enable password or extra protection in the settings on your Steam app, so you always have to put in a pin when you open your Steam app, so it is way safer. Number three, the old school, be safe with your passwords, especially on Steam of course and any related service like email, phone and so more. I can really recommend a password manager here because it's way easier, you can use a really complicated password, you can use an individual password for every account and all in all protect your password manager with a two-factor authentication, so it's really ducking safe. Number four, if you're unsure about anything, it can just be the price of an item or any sketchy offer you get, you can just contact people you trust and ask for a second opinion. For example, me in my streams, my moderators, other traders, other creators you trust and way more. If you're on any discord from a big creator, for example me, Arrow, Onipixel or something like that, if you ask in the chat there, 
you will most likely get at least one honest opinion and will most likely find out pretty quickly if the sketchy guy offering you something is a scam or a really good deal. Number five double check everything when trading. This is not only the Steam creation date. A very popular scam back in the day was sending a trade offer back and forth, so a classic intense negotiation, and suddenly switching out the condition of the item. So for example, you trade your AK Empress for an AK Asimov, negotiate and send trade offers back and forth with the other guy, and after like five trades, the other guy sends you an offer you have sent before, so you will most likely accept that, but he changed the condition of the AK Asimov. Nowadays, with storage units and the new, you cannot see my items for 10 days, thank you for that Valve, um, pulling this scam is easier than ever. A really good protection here, also plugins, because they just show you when the price change and you can way easier see if something like that was tried. Number six, bookmarks for trading sites. Google is sadly often full of phishing sites that get advertised. So if you just Google Skinport, for example, and click on the first link, there's a good chance you are not on the real Skinport, but a phishing site. So take the links, for example, from my how to trade video and bookmark them so you will never have to manually enter them again. And never click on links somebody sends you. If somebody sends you a game of a listening, for example, you can just enter the real websites you have bookmarked and add the rest of the link manually. Therefore, you can be sure that you are in the real domain and not in some phishing site. Number seven, really ducking dangerous, but luckily kinda rare, the iCloud or similar backup services. On your phone you might have a backup service, really dangerous here is iCloud by Apple as it by default backs up certain user data from the Steam app, which includes your two-factor authentication. So if some hacker gets into your iCloud, they can just easily download this data and can just emulate your two-factor and would be instantly able to lock you out, lock you in and steal all your trusty CSGO skins. Number eight, SIM swaps. SIM swapping is when somebody steals your phone number, which gives them access to a lot of your personal security. As your phone number is connected to many two-factor applications or just backup services like, I forgot my password, please send to my number. Oops, I don't have the number any longer. Oh. So it is very easy to prevent. If you keep your personal data safe, it is very hard to even start SIM swapping attack. But nowadays with internet, social media and so on, it's really easy for hackers to get to your personal information. So it is more important to contact your mobile provider and to tell them, yo, my number is kind of important. You know, I'm the, I'm the chat of the, of the numbers here. Um, please don't allow any SIM swaps or don't send any extra SIM cards, something like that. If I don't request it with a personal ID, something like that. Most mobile providers are happy to do that. So just ask them directly. Number nine, if you are not trading via peer-to-peer -peer market, Family View. Family View prevents anybody that accesses your account from getting into certain functions or even games without putting in an extra pin. This prevents bad guys from getting you banned by just hacking on your Steam account, accessing the market or sending scam messages to your friends. In the time of I have gift for you. This is really ducking important. But unfortunately, peer-to-peer -peer markets that use your session to send trade offers like Buff163 or many more markets, depending on how Valve and the new markets handle this new situation, work by using your session. So if you have family view there, they won't work. So for example, me, I can't use it because of Buff163. Number 10, Discord. Be very careful when you use Discord to trade because Steam is not the best company when it comes to fighting scams or even ban people for trying it, we know that. But still, with the addition of user-based reputation tools like SteamRap, a regular scammer will get banned or flagged eventually. As a legit high-level Steam account costs a lot of money, they want to prevent that of course. So Discord is the better platform for the scammers because neither Steam or SteamRap can ban people because of chat logs from there. So if somebody randomly contacts you, also from Discord, be ducking careful. And last, be aware of the risk. No matter if hacking, scamming or just Valve changing something to your account, your items are always at a very small risk. So please, especially when you're making good money with skins or have a lot of budget in there, please be aware of that risk and try to stay as safe as possible. And yeah, I think that's basically it. Stay safe, stay careful, but have 
fun. Don't forget to join the giveaway, boys. I am Neon, and I'll see you guys in the next one.